Holy macaroni guys, 500 subscribers, half of 1000. This is by far the snazziest thing that has happened to me all year. I mean, it's pretty dang nifty. So you guys gave me some questions, a lot of them in fact. And this time, I think I'm more prepared to answer some of the ones relating to why I'm doing YouTube as I have recently discovered it. Let's begin. What do you plan on doing with this channel in the future? Well, if all goes well, maybe I'll write a book or make a board game. And actually, I'd like to make a video game and just grow the Mato Potato brand outside of YouTube. But that isn't for a very, 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 very long time, if it even happens ever, because I still have like 200 videos to make before that. Will you ever get a secondary channel? Maybe Mato Potato? Yeah, I have one, but I don't really post on it, ever. But you know, maybe. I will when I get more subscribers on this channel becomes more professional. If you could choose to be reincarnated as an animal, which animal would you choose and why? Honestly, a blobfish. I mean, come on. They have the best life. They literally have no muscle mass, never have to move, and float around the ocean floor eating whatever it floats in their mouth. Not to mention how majestic and beautiful they are. Hashtag blobfish are the best. If potatoes were fruits, would mashed potatoes be smoothies? I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't decide the correct labels of things. What is your future job? Well, if you couldn't tell, I'm trying to make YouTube a job, so hopefully that. Can you say was uh for 10 seconds? Yes. Do you like axolotls? I mean, I have nothing against them. Why are we alone in the universe? How do you know we are? Do you believe in the supernatural? I mean, I saw a tree with the superman symbol on it once. That was pretty supernatural. But it's... Is your head an exoskeleton? Like the hair and skin is all just fake and it's all bone. Um... No. Very creative, I guess. How does it feel to have 500 subscribers? Well, I don't know. I only have 472 subscribers at the point of recording this. So... Does it feel good knowing that so many people like your stuff? I mean... I feel like it's a pretty dumb question, but yeah, of course it feels good. Do you eat bananas? Ooh, no. Funny story, actually. When I was like seven, I ate bananas, and then I decided, ooh, I hate bananas, and I swore to myself that I would never eat bananas ever again, and I haven't. What made you start YouTube? Okay, I created this channel originally to be something I can do until I found something else to do on YouTube, but then I became a part of it. It became a part of me. I became a part of this big community and decided that I want to do this. I want to become a bigger part of this community. I want to inspire young aspiring animators like the big influencers like the odd ones out, Jade Animations, Domix and something else YT were to me. I want to inspire them to follow their dreams and make a difference in their lives. And where do I see myself in two years? Uh, well... I don't want to get my hopes too high, but hopefully still doing what I'm doing now. Animating and hopefully being more successful at it. What is your supreme goal subscriber-wise as a YouTuber? Well, I don't know. I don't have a supreme goal, I just wanna keep growing. Other than YouTube, what do you plan on doing for yourself in the future? I mean, it really depends if my YouTube channel keeps growing or not. If all goes well, I hope to grow my brand outside of YouTube, make a game or a movie or something. But otherwise, I really have no plans. Don't ask me these questions as if I've thought out my life. Are you human? I don't know, is anyone human? Do you like anime? I mean, I like some anime, I don't watch it. I like One Punch Man and Attack on Titans, but that's really it. What made it hardest to reach here? I mean, I don't know how to answer that. Getting myself out there for people to see, I guess, because not many people search up Made of Potato, so at this point I'm kind of relying on collabs, but one day I hope that I can help small channels get out there because I know how hard it is. Who's cooler, Shadow or Sonic? Uh, Shadow, obviously. Are you the type of guy to get hit by a parked car? Is there a type of guy who gets hit by a parked car? Uh, also no, because I don't go outside. Are people real? Is anything real? Are bananas real? Sadly, yes. Right or left-handed? Right-handed. Did you ever think that you would make it this far? I mean... I hoped I would, but I didn't think I'd make it this fast. Are you going to read all of these questions? I read them all, but I'm not answering all of them. Do you eat? Sometimes. Is your hair that floofy IRL? Yeet. What kind of drawing tablet do you have? Apparently people don't read the description, but I'm only answering this once. I have this, this, and this. Are you a furry? 
No. What are your favourite cartoon shows? I don't watch TV. Is it easy being the niftiest nifty to ever nifty in the island of nifty nifties? No, it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. Are you made of tomato in disguise? No. What was your one main inspiration to get into animation? Mine was Cypher Den Bird, Never Cake, Ginger Pale, and Made of Potato. Wink? Question mark. First of all, you said one main inspiration, and then you listed five. Second of all, you have no videos, but I'll ignore that. My one main inspiration is The Odd Ones Out, Jaden Animations, Domic, Something Else YT, Young Don, Tim Tom, and Ginger Pale. Wink. Are you more of a fried potato, mashed potato, boiled potato, roast potato, or potato chip? I'm a made of potato. You like waffles? Yes, I like waffles. Are you secretly a potato behind a screen? What do you mean secretly? How did you get inspiration to create a YouTube channel? Seriously, just watch the first q and I explain it like four times. Do you have hobbies other than art and animation? I rollerblade and I sleep. Why do you think you're so into animation and since when you are? Well, I think it's because it's the only thing I'm even remotely good at. What is your main goal for this channel? What do you wish to achieve? I just want my channel to inspire people, I guess. I want to help out other small channels to become popular because I know how hard it is and how it feels to be to feel unnoticed and like you're not making a difference, I guess. I kind of just want to become one of the main faces of the animation community, I guess, so that Made of Potato is a name that people will know if they know animation. If someone is starting off animation and they stop because they're not motivated anymore, what would you say? First of all, you used the wrong there. It's supposed to say they are. Second, you have a Roblox icon, so I don't want to help, but because I'm so nice, I will. If you are just starting off and don't have any motivation, then maybe animation isn't for you because it requires a lot of motivation and a lot of work and effort to make a good animation. But if you are determined and just need a little push, I recommend watching other people's animations and just do it. After you start, it's easy to keep going. Is that your hair or is it your gargantuan forehead? It's both. If your life was a movie, what song would be on the soundtrack? All Star and Despacito 2. Do you consume water on a daily basis? Sometimes. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? 12%. When did you drawing, or when did you start getting serious about art? Still drawing for the memes? Question mark, question mark. I have been drawing my whole life. However, last year is when I started watching The Odd Ones Out, and it was like a slap in the face. Hey, I like drawing, I love making videos, why didn't I think of this sooner? Why did you leave mum and I when I was younger? That really screwed me up mentally. Yo, nice nice animation. That's not a question. Why did you start this channel? Honestly, I started it with the intention to delete it a few months after, when I found something better to make videos about. But then I got support. And it was weird. So I decided to keep going. What drawing tablet do you use? Honestly, why do I even have an about page? Hey, what do you look like? Get me to 100k and you'll find out. Do penguins have knees? Yes, but they are not visible as they are inside their torso. How can I be as cool as you? Sadly, you can't. Just kidding, you probably already are. What if I didn't stay nifty? Nani? Get out. Just kidding, but try to stay nifty next time, okay? Are you my friend? What is a friend? Is it edible? Mato or Matt O? It's Mato Potato because it rhymes. I'm sick of people calling me Matt as a nickname. It's not even my name. Stay nifty. Not a question, but yes. Congrats on 400 subscribers, dude. Not a question, thanks, but this is a 500 subscriber Q&A. Why do you give your character hair bigger than its head? Because he would look pretty weird like this. Why is North Island superior? Haha, ha, good one. Is Bob Marley your dad? No, Bob Ross is. What's your favorite kind of dog? All of them. Who inspires you from the sequential art story time community? Twist, only people who have less than 1 million. Laddie, Mars, Sultan, Nat, Hamination, Brody, Swoosh. Actually, there's too many to list, but you know, you get the idea. What is your favorite color in the alphabet? Mine's seven. Well, mine is triangle. How do you think people see the Storytime animation community as an onlooker from the outside in? 
I think they don't understand because it's not the same as other communities. Everyone supports everyone and it isn't really a competition. I don't know how to explain it, but it's really cool. How tall are you? I'm currently six foot. Hey guys, thanks so much for 500 subscribers. We actually hit 500 on Christmas Day, so that was pretty, pretty cool. Um, hope you enjoyed this Q&A. If your questions weren't answered, then hopefully next time you can ask some questions. And yeah. Thanks for watching and stay nifty.